It seems ridiculous to be even suggesting that after 12 months, someone should upgrade from the Pixel 4 to the Pixel 5, but we're here to examine whether this is a thought you might be having. So let's work out if you should upgrade from the Pixel 4 to the Pixel 5. Thanks for watching 9to5Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. 2020 is a very different year for Pixel fans as there is no real out and out flagship smartphone to go out and pick up. Google's focus this year has been on building a device that resolves some of the glaring errors of past hardware, then backing it with the best possible software experience. This might mean that if you're the owner of an older Pixel device, you're confused, Heck, there are plenty of Pixel 4 owners that might have been hoping to switch to a new smartphone if certain issues were becoming too much of an everyday burden. But let's talk through the differences so you can decide for yourself if an upgrade is warranted. From a sheer benchmark perspective, the Pixel 4 does have better internals than the Pixel 5. It has a better screen, faster chipset, albeit 4G only, face unlock and two distinct sizes to choose from. So to summarize, the Pixel 4 has more hardware options but with just one SKU, the Pixel 5 is harder to confuse. The new device also has a slightly more RAM, which might prove useful for added longevity, but does have a chipset that, on paper, matches that of the Pixel 3 series in terms of performance. If you want objectively the best specifications, then the Pixel 4 and 4 XL actually offer more powerful hardware out of the box. Granted, the Pixel series is still more software bound than many others out there. The removal of some sensors and the Sole radar tech might also come as a disappointment to some people, even with some half-baked software implementation for the impressive tech. Design is a bit more subjective, but the Pixel 4 does feel more premium with its frosted glass finish on the clearly white and oso oh orange models. The bio resin covering on the aluminium chassis of the Pixel 5 means it feels very different to glass. You'll also have to contend with different haptics on the late 2020 Pixel. While they are great, the Pixel 4's haptics are vastly superior. The speakers are also marginally better on the Pixel 4, and it has a more normal stereo speaker setup that utilizes a downward firing tweeter and the earpiece. The Pixel 5 uses a familiar downward firing tweeter and the vibrating portion of the display in place of the traditional earpiece. The sound profile on the Pixel 4 and Pixel 5 do happen to be almost identical, but the Pixel 4 reaches a slightly higher max volume. The Pixel 4 relies solely on face unlock for biometric security, we're somewhat luckily in a post-COVID world, the Pixel 5 sees the return of the rear Pixel imprint fingerprint scanner, which is ideal when mask wearing has become commonplace. In terms of software, while it's wrong to say that software is exactly the same on the Pixel 4 and 4XL as it is on the Pixel 5, it's not strictly true. The core OS is the same, yes, but the Pixel 5 has a few neat tricks up its sleeve that at present are not available on older Pixel hardware, although they may come in future Pixel feature drops and OS upgrades. Although running effectively the same version of Android, it's also worth noting that because the Pixel 4 series shipped with Android 10 and has had one full OS upgrade, it is only eligible for upgrades up to and including Android 13. Conversely, the Pixel 5 will be updated until at least Android 14, at which point support for the Pixel 4 will have already ended. It's not as clear cut in software terms as certain features will not be available on either device due to minor hardware differences. However, the core daily experience on the Pixel 4 series and the Pixel 5 will be pretty much identical. Gaming is one area where the Pixel 5 is far more capable thanks to the Adreno 640 GPU versus the Adreno 620 in the Pixel 5. On top of that, it's also clear that the faster Snapdragon 855 chipset does help with load times of certain applications, but overall the 765G in the Pixel 5 does stack up pretty well. Despite looking fairly similar, the Pixel 4 series camera setup is actually quite a bit different from that of the Pixel 5. Both devices do still rely on the same 3-year-old 12.2 megapixel Sony IMX363 camera sensor, but it's the secondary lens where the changes are more pronounced. I'll not get into Televoto versus Ultrawide, but that's what it boils down to with these two devices. The Pixel 5 comes with a main wide lens and an ultra wide angle lens. Zoom shots are taken solely utilizing Super Res Zoom for enhanced sharpness once the shutter button is pressed. The Pixel 5 does not include an ultra wide angle lens, instead you'll get a 16 megapixel telephoto zoom lens to get closer to the action. This telephoto zoom lens is also backed by Super Res Zoom for more enhanced zoom shots up to 8x. This is achieved with a physical 2x zoom and then software enhanced for marked improvements over the Pixel 4 when zooming in. 
While of course there are some hardware variations, the Pixel 5 comes with some notable software features that are not available on older Pixel 4 series devices. The Pixel 4 does still include the popular Playground AR feature though, which is not available on devices released since the Pixel 4a. Processing time for images is marginally quicker on the Pixel 4, as the Pixel 5 lacks the Pixel Neural Core chip. This is noticeable, but it isn't a major inhibitor to photography and videography, as processing can take place in the background without you ever really noticing. Save the new features, the camera experience is almost identical on both handsets with the main sensor. Images can be ever so slightly better on the Pixel 5 though thanks to processing, but not by a large margin. Battery life is an area where the Pixel 5 comes out a clear winner over the older device. Credit where it is due though, Google has seriously improved the daily battery longevity of the Pixel 4 series, specifically that of the XL variant, with software updates and the recent Android 11 upgrade. That said, a combination of a larger 4000 mAh battery, lower resolution display and marginally more efficient processor results in borderline exceptional daily lifespan on the Pixel 5. We know that this is one of the core complaints on the Pixel 4 series, so if long battery life is essential to you, this is one of the few areas an upgrade does make a heck of a lot of sense. Both devices still come with 18 watt wired fast charging plus wireless charging on top. The Pixel 5 does also include reverse wireless charging for the first time, which is especially handy for accessories such as Bluetooth earbuds or even if you need to give a friend or family member a little bit of extra juice. In terms of your upgrade path, if you are happy with the Pixel 4, then no, we don't think you should upgrade to the Pixel 5. While there are some benefits such as 5G and improved battery life, the actual package on offer compares very well. We feel it's at this point we have to state that upgrading every single year is not cost effective, nor is it good for the planet. The Pixel 4 and 4 XL are still fantastic devices that have improved hugely since release, thanks to software enhancements and Pixel feature drops. Unless you must have an ultra wide angle lens, 5G connectivity or have severe battery issues, then it's simply not worth swapping out your handset in favour of a less powerful Pixel. You may have seen our own review of the Pixel 5, suggesting that while there are compromises, it offers a fantastic Pixel experience without the marginally higher price tag, but that said, if you do have an OG Pixel, Pixel 2 or Pixel 3, then we think you're far better off with an upgrade as you'll see the biggest improvements and performance gains. This fits more in line with a two year upgrade cycle that we'd usually suggest people stick to for the most gains, although the longer you can hold out, the better. So that just about covers everything we think Pixel 4 owners might be considering on the newly released Pixel 5, but if you do have any questions you'd like answered, be sure to let us know down in the comments section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.